Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle is a depression on the upper part of the anterior aspect of the thigh below the inguinal ligament. So, what is femoral triangle? The femoral triangle is a depression on the upper part of the anterior aspect of the thigh below the inguinal ligament below the inguinal ligament so we got the definition of the femoral triangle this is the depression on the upper part of the anterior aspect of the thigh below the inguinal ligament then we'll go through its boundaries so after that you go to its boundaries okay this is a triangle so it should have three sides the base is here is the lateral margin is a medial margin so it has base lateral margin and the medial margin or medial border okay margin okay we got that so how the base of the femoral triangle is formed who forms the base of the femoral triangle base is formed by the inguinal ligament inguinal ligament okay so this is the inguinal ligament inguinal ligament okay that is formed by the folding of the aponeurosis of external oblique okay this is the base then laterally it is bounded by the laterally the femoral triangle is bounded by the by the medial margin of the sartorius muscle sartorius muscle okay of the sartorius muscle so this is the sartorius we got the lateral boundary how are the medial boundary medially it is bounded by the it is bounded by the medial margin of the medial margin of the adductor longus adductor longus so this is the adductor longus adductor longus and this is the medial boundary this is the medial boundary of the adductor 
longer. This is adductor longus is the medial boundary. So adductor longus forms the medial boundary. Adductor longus also a part of the floor of the inguinal ligament. So this is a triangular depression. It, it has three sides. We got the boundary. Base is formed by the inguinal ligament. Laterally, it is bounded by the medial border of the sartorius muscle. This is sartorius. Medially bounded by the medial border of the adductor longus. This is adductor longus. This is the medial border or margin of the adductor longus. We got the boundary. Now we go the floor of the floor of the femoral triangle, how the floor is formed, floor of the femoral triangle, okay, floor of the femoral triangle, okay, it is formed by the, by number one is the adductor longus from medial to lateral adductor longus then here number two is the pectineus pectineus muscle okay then this is the tendon of the swath major then number three is the so as major tendon. Okay. Number four is the iliacus muscle. Iliacus muscle. So we got the floor of the this is the adductor longus. This is the pectineus. This is the swas major. This is the iliacus. That this four muscle forms the floor of the femoral triangle. We got the floor. Now we'll go to the roof. Okay. Roof of the femoral triangle. Okay. The roof of the femoral triangle is formed by the skin superficial fascia. And that superficial fascia contain some lymph node. Okay. Containing containing superficial inguinal lymph node superficial inguinal lymph nodes okay we also get the femoral branch of the genitive femoral nerve femoral branch of the genitive femoral nerve branch of the of the genitive femoral nerve genital femoral knot also get the ilio inguinal knot inguinal knot okay so we got the femoral branch of the genital femoral knot ilio inguinal knot and superficial branches of the femoral artery superficial branches of the femoral artery of the femoral artery artery and the accompanying veins and the accompanying veins we got the the content of the Roof, roof also contains the deep fascia, 
the fascia lata which is also, also forms the roof deep fascia and the deep fascia has opening called saphenous opening and cribriform fascia for the passage of the of the great saphenous vein deep fascia with saphenous opening saphenous opening with the cribriform fascia from fascia okay for the passage of the great saphenous vein like this this is the great saphenous vein for the passage of the great saphenous vein of the great saphenous vein great saphenous vein okay we got the content of the roof roof formation of roof skin superficial fascia content of superficial fascia we have lymph node we have nerves and we have also the blood vessels we have the saphenous opening in the fascia lata and it is saphenous opening is covered by the cribriform fascia and blood vessel penetrate through that the one of them is the great saphenous vein okay and other other branches of the superficial branches of the femoral artery and accompanying veins okay are the content of the roof of the femoral triangle okay we got the base we got the lateral boundary how about the apex okay apex apex of the femoral triangle of the femoral triangle okay apex is formed by the union of the lateral boundary and the medial boundary so this is the apex apex and apex is continuous with that of the a doctor canal or hunter's canal or subsartorial canal it is continuous with that of the a doctor canal so we got the boundary we got the content we got the apex base okay we got the flow roof now we we'll go to the content of the femoral triangle okay content contents of the femoral triangle so if we if we go through the content so these contents are are present underneath the inguinal ligament going to the femoral triangle this is femoral triangle this entire part is the femoral triangle so from lateral to medial we'll go through that the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh then we get the femoral nerve we get the contents of the femoral sheath contents of the femoral sheet okay so what are the contents of the femoral sheet so here we get the nerve here lateral cutaneous nerve we get the the femoral nerve here okay then we we'll get the femoral sheath here femoral sheath here and we we'll get in the femoral sheath we we'll get the the femoral artery in one compartment another compartment we we'll get one vein 
okay we get a vein there we get a vein here vein and another compartment will get the get the femoral canal okay so and this is the femoral sheath here femoral sheath and we have compartment like that compartment so contents of femoral sheath what are the contents of the femoral sheath we have the lateral compound compartment we have the femoral artery artery and lateral compartment also contain the femoral branch of gentle femoral nerve and and also the femoral branch of genital femoral nerve genital femoral nerve okay we got that then in our intermediate compartment we get the femoral vein okay then most medial compartment here we get a lymph node okay that is we get here okay a b here okay we get a lymph node okay we we'll get a lymph node lymph node the lymph node is called gland of cloquet or gland of rosenmuller that is called gland of cloquet cloquet or rosenmuller rosenmuller the gland of cloquet rosenmuller drain lymphatics from the glans penis in male so they drain lymphatics from the glans penis glans penis glans penis in male okay and they drain lymphatics from the clitoris clitoris in female okay we'll also get all the content of the in the content of femoral triangle we we'll get all the contents of the roof Okay, what we discuss and contents of the roof. Okay, then we'll get the deep lymph nodes. Deep lymph nodes. Lymph nodes underneath the fascia lata. Underneath the fascia lata. Okay, we got that. We get blood vessels. Okay, we have six branches from the femoral artery. Six branches of femoral artery. Branches of femoral artery. We have three superficial, three superficial branches of the femoral artery. Superficial. What are those? These are the. These are the superficial circumflex iliac. Okay. Superficial. Circumflex, circum, 
let's in here okay and surficient epigastric epigastric artery epigastric artery and the surficial external parietal artery and superficial external parietal artery superficial external parietal artery external parietal artery okay we got the these are the branches of the femoral artery it is the superficial branches three superficial branches and three deep branches so we have three deep branches from the femoral artery three deep branches okay what are those arteries those arteries are the one is the deep external pudenta deep external pudenta then we have the muscular branches muscular multiple muscular branches and we have the profunda femoris artery profunda is the largest branch deep that has a deep branch profunda femoris artery okay and profunda femoris artery is also called arteria profunda femoris it is two branches one is lateral circumflex femoral artery and medial circumflex femoral artery okay artery we got the content of the content of the femoral triangle okay we had the branches of the femoral artery three superficial three deep the profunda femoris artery lateral circumflex femoral artery it it actually divides the femoral nerve into superficial anterior division and posterior division okay we got that the contents of the femoral triangle and we must know that the skin over the femoral triangle is mostly the sensation from the skin of the of the femoral triangle is mostly carried out by the femoral branch of the genitor femoral nerve okay so now we emphasize on the femoral sheath femoral sheath how it is formed it is formed where it is located femoral sheath is just located medial to the mid inguinal point at the mid inguinal point we have the femoral artery then just medial to that is the femoral vein then the femoral canal okay so this is the femoral artery this is the femoral vein this is the femoral canal okay we got that this is the gland of cloquet gland of cloquet also called rogen muller this is the great saphenous vein great saphenous vein okay we got that femoral sheath how it is formed femoral sheath anteriorly formed by the fascia transversalis posteriorly formed by the fascia iliacus okay anteriorly it is formed by the fascia transversalis transversalis posteriorly posteriorly this is formed by the posteriorly 
it is formed by the by the fascia fascia iliaca okay we got that lateral compartment contains the femoral artery and the gentle and the femoral branch of genital femoral nerve this is the femoral branch of genital femoral nerve genital femoral nerve okay this is the femoral vein this is the gland of colloquiate or gland of Rosenmuller that drain lymphatic from the gland penis or from in male from gland penis in female is from the from the clitoris okay we got the boundary there okay we have to give emphasis on the medial compartment medial compartment is the femoral canal okay medial compartment is the femoral canal okay femoral canal that is the medial compartment of the femoral sheath okay okay femoral compartment of the femoral sheath medial compartment of the femoral sheath okay that is called femoral canal and the upper opening is called femoral ring upper opening is called upper opening of what upper opening of the femoral canal is called femoral ring femoral ring okay that femoral ring is covered closed by the condensation of the the extra peritoneal connective tissue and this contain gland of cloque plus some loose irregular connective tissue here okay so we have some connective tissue here around the gland of cloque okay we got that and there is a depression the parietal peritoneum goes over this and make a depression that is called femoral depression okay we got the femoral canal upper opening is called femoral ring now we we'll go to the boundary of the femoral ring how it is formed femoral ring okay what is the boundary medially it is bounded by the lacunar ligament medially by lacunar ligament okay anteriorly it is bounded by the inguinal ligament anteriorly inguinal nerve ligament posteriorly it is bounded by what by fascia over the pectineus fascia over the pectineus muscle okay pectineus muscle we got that the boundary of the femoral ring so we have gone through the boundary of the femoral ring now we learn some of the clinical importance of the femoral triangle okay so clinical anatomy clinical anatomy of the femoral triangle okay what are the clinical anatomy one of the most important point is that there may be femoral hernia femoral hernia okay that is that may happen okay it may happen through the some content of the abdomen may go through the go through the femoral canal through the femoral ring okay 
So hernia goes through the femoral rim to the femoral canal to the to the saphenous opening. Okay, saphenous opening, we know that. The great saphenous vein is also a content of the femoral triangle. It is it is a cutaneous vein, goes just under the skin, subcutaneous vein, saphenous opening, then the hernia may follow the 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 superficial branches, superficial, superficial, okay, superficial branches, branches of the femoral artery, okay, or vein, the superficial tributaries of the femoral vein. Okay, so this is the way the it goes through that, it comes out through that, and when the surgeon repair, they they do the reverse direction so that the content should be pushed back to the abdomen. This is one okay of the femoral vessels or tributaries, vessels or tributaries. Okay. We got the, the progress of the femoral hernia in that direction. Okay, then we have to know that femoral artery, femoral vein is utilized by the vascular surgeon to do some type of catheterization if it is required. Okay, and we have to know that femoral hernia is more common in female. Femoral hernia is common to the is more common more common okay is more common to the females common in the female why it is so common in female idea is that female pelvis is white and the femoral artery is comparatively smaller so there is chance of herniation femoral hernia is more common in female